my friends. The key overview of the development of Volvo's new EX30 crossover was to create an attractive small premium electric car with more than 250 miles of mileage and a price tag of less than £35,000 excluding distance to destination and government, discounts. After two days of testing this cute electric car at Volvo's headquarters in Sweden, the goal was achieved. The EX30 is beautiful, interesting and in terms of performance. According to Volvo, the performance of the twin engine, which exerts 422 horsepower and 400 pounds-foot of torque, and the top-of-the-line all-wheel drive is enough to accelerate the smaller SUV, rated weight, 4,140 pounds, from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds. In the passenger seat of my first experience with the EX30 on Volvo's test course, I could feel the solid grounding. Every Volvo car has to have a character of its own, says Egbert Barker, Volvo's head of vehicle dynamics technology, as he guides us through a series of maneuvers so exciting you'll be glad you didn't have breakfast. In other words, it has to be predictable, controllable and comfortable. The brief for this entry-level electric vehicle, which is an entirely new category and appeals to new customers, includes two different descriptions, confidence and agility. For the base model, Volvo relied on the parts warehouses and electric car research and development of its majority shareholder, Chinese conglomerate Geely, but again went to great lengths to develop it in Sweden. We have a system, Barker says, speaking euphemistically of the car's base. But we made everything ourselves, the dampers, the tires, the steering, the anti-roll bar, all of that is unique to Volvo. Despite a shorter wheelbase that allows pitch and bounce to be more easily transmitted to the cabin, the EX30 feels well controlled over broken pavement, uneven expansion joints and long stretches of potholes on Volvo's test track, which replicates thick US asphalt. Rebound is firm and uneven, and ride quality is excellent, even compared to Volvo's bigger and better looking XC40. All without resorting to computer-controlled air springs or adaptive dampers. This is unusual in this class, explains Backer in the inimitable style of a veteran engineer. As expected, a number of advanced driver assistance systems such as blind spot monitoring in Volvo's pilot assist, lane keeping system and adaptive cruise control, are standard. The 64.0 kWh battery is mounted in the floor, which lowers the center of gravity of the bulky EV, which is about the same size as a Volkswagen Golf, although it is about 5 cm taller, aiding handling. In addition, Volvo has recently adopted rear-wheel drive as standard on its AWD EVs. The front axle engages only when rear slip is detected, when the throttle is fully depressed, or when performance mode is activated. The single-motor extended starter model, which weighs 3,858 pounds, has rear-wheel drive only and provides 268 horsepower and 253 pounds per foot of torque to reach 60 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds. The exterior styling is a slightly more attractive and quirky version of Volvo's modern design language, with the brand's slightly gentler, Arch Thor's T-Hammer headlights flowing into a rugged, grill-less front end. The beltline meets the massive C-pillar at the rear, while the tall taillights pass through a complex single-sided reflector that extends to tailgate height. The body moldings are simple yet elegant, reflecting and transcending the car's production budget. Nowhere is Volvo's effort to cut costs more evident than in the cabin. Like the Tesla Model 3, the dashboard is completely empty except for a large central screen. There are no instruments, and the screen handles all driver functions, from speedometer to navigation to climate control. Budget advantages, fewer wires and cheaper to switch from RHD to LHD configurations. Simple air conditioning vents are structurally molded into the dash panel, saving molds and materials. An audio bar at the bottom of the windshield replaces individual speakers. The interior is largely devoid of traditional luxury materials such as leather, wood and metal, these elements have been replaced with molded materials made from recycled or upcycled plastic bottles, fishing nets, window frames, linen, wool or denim trim, depending on the chosen decor scheme. Woven, compressed, faceted, polished, perforated or otherwise transformed, these rustic fonts create intriguing surfaces that invite a desire to caress while simultaneously drawing attention to their subtle virtues. The brand's choice of rich colors lends a minimalist yet unmistakable tactile feel. 
Sky blue, deep sea indigo, pine green and cloudy silver replace the monotonous blacks and beiges that dominate the industry. USB-C ports abound, along with some particularly clever stowage elements, including a center storage drawer, stackable sliding drawers, large door pockets, floor lockers, a small trunk, and an adjustable rear cargo drawer. The only treat in the cabin are the satin steel windows with large retro-looking metal handles that look like they came from a modern Scandinavian refrigerator the effect is initially shocking but ultimately reassuring. We deserve a new and exciting language of interior materials that reflects our changing definition of the automobile and goes beyond Tesla's disaffected aesthetic of big screens and gaming chairs. If that helps us move towards sustainability, we're fine with that, too. Of course, to achieve this price, Volvo will manufacture the EX30 in China, where wages are lower, rather than in Sweden, where unions are very strong. How this will affect quality and durability is unknown at this time. The same goes for questions about the EX30's drivability. At least the latter will be answered soon. The EX30 is expected to arrive in US dealerships in the first half of 2024. Bye everyone. I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh, And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer no exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough, I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy yeah. all this stuff it sucks, when you finally feel like giving up Oh God, no luck, everything feels like you're sticky stuck I'm lost, handcuffed, to the bed where I sleep Don't give a fuck, can't stop, unplug Feeling overwhelmed, I think I've had enough uh, Gotta find a way to get some energy Gotta find someone who's a good friend of me I need purpose to make it all worth it I'm still searching and I'm still learning I want a life that's filled with memories Not a life with regret in front of me I need focus to keep me from hopeless Psychosis if I keep moping I got nightmares in my head, I feel that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus Good enough, nothing's really clear Sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff